with adults. And how do you describe how I reacted with the adults? You were very rude. You okay, what do you mean by rude? I want something specific. Well, here. when you uh, point uh, your finger at someone and you tell them that they are a thief <coughs> and a liar, mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's rude. Was that truthful? I don't have a problem, Mr. Alderman, with, with whether or not uh, you have a complaint about financial matters or whether or not you have a complaint about board members or whether or not you, know, you have a problem with my, my motivation to place you on transfer. That's, you have that right, we're not you talking have about that right to We're talking sense. about firing me, terminating well, me because I said. Mr. Vance, uh, the witness is being interrupted and not being allowed to finish his answers. Also, during the course of, course of that evening, you know, it was very apparent that uh, you were being rude to several members of these, uh, the board, uh, Mrs. Irvin and myself. Did I tell the truth about the golf money? Again, there are other avenues that you can approach to, to deal with that, and I'm, I'm very happy with the answers that I've already provided you. I had, was that the first time that I had raised the issue of the stolen money? Uh, you had raised that at an earlier point, yes, sir. At a board meeting, if I'm At correct. a board meeting, yes, sir. Remember that? Uh, did you do anything about that misappropriation? Uh, we uh, notified uh, Joe Panetta's office, who is uh, with the uh, state superintendent's office, and uh, informed him of what was uh, the situation. Uh, we sent an email to him, sent him copies of the documents. We received no response. Um, we talked, uh, you know, we, the, the proceedings or the process that we went through, uh, we uh, uh, had uh, a uh, check for $2,500 that was provided to the county. Uh, it was for the golf team. Uh, there was uh, no way that the money could be spent for equipment as we understood it and it was spent for the golf team uh, covering their expenses of their travel to three tournaments. Why did you draw a purchase order on it and for $1,060? I'm assuming that's what was the portion that they were requesting at that time. Why didn't you fill it? I don't know what, I'm not certain. Do you have a $2,500 expenditure and a $1,060 bill which amounts to about $3,600? Did you fit? well? We, you should we be have, aware of that. We have a we have we have a we had a, a check for two thousand five hundred dollars. Right. We had a, a an expenditure of one thousand six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And you had expended for twenty five hundred too. I don't believe so. Well, that, this is what you signed off the vouchers. Remember the vouchers you signed off the travel. You did not. You did not <coughs> ever follow through on the process for the uh, golf equipment. But you spent, you signed off on $2,500 worth of travel expenses for the golf team. Okay. Again, I don't have a problem with your criticism, you know, of that matter or your, your concerns about that. Uh, that doesn't have anything to do with, with, with this hearing uh, this evening but and my could, recommendations. Could you possibly, Dr. Law, could you possibly have perceived that maybe I felt that I was being punished because I, uh, that I had actually brought this to your and Alice's attention? And that I had said it was a misappropriation amounting to the a theft. I couldn't. I couldn't speculate what you were thinking. Um, but you didn't do it. <clears throat> other than Mr. Panetta, you did nothing else. Okay. Why would you be? Why would you consider it disrespectful if I simply pointed out something that I'd already presented to the board and that I already presented to you? Why is that? How is that disrespectful to? See, I'm coming from this point, Dr. Hall. That's the truth. I've got proof, your own free information. I can prove that you all misappropriated that money. That's not disrespect. Is that disrespect in your book? Again, I don't have a quarrel with your, your concerns about But you're firing me the, for it. I have concern about the way you conducted yourself in that meeting. Okay, so when we see here that I have suggested the Treasurer Alistair has stolen, lied, uh, thieved, and lied enough, you seem to have included this in the charge, but you're withdrawing that then at this point. Right? <coughs> no, no. I, you, you, made, you made a reference there mm -hmm. that Mrs. Urban had thief. Okay? And you. And that I had thief. And that we had stolen. Okay? 
And it was done in such a manner that it was disrespectful, it was belittling, it was... Uh, there are there are many ways, Mr. Alderman, that that information could be presented in a very professional I manner. I presented it, remember? In a very professional Before manner. Before the board. In a professional manner. And, and it could be presented again. It could be presented many times. It will be presented again. You realize that. It, and again, if if I if it's presented, we would expect it to be done in a professional manner. It was not done that night. So when Mr. Vance says to me, stay on point, I just want you to be able to perceive this. This was on point. I believe that I was being punished as a whistleblower because I blew the whistle on the superintendent and the treasurer for stealing money. Now, I'm not saying you personally stole it. But you misappropriate <coughs> and that is a misdemeanor. I don't understand why, Jesse, that they're mad at me for telling the truth. I just told the truth. I didn't lie. Truth is always a defense to lie. Now let me ask you something. When I, was it disrespectful? Okay, first one say, is it true that Emma Grimes is an adulterer? I would have no, no knowledge. Mr. Grimes, would you? Mr. Grimes is not on trial right here, Mr. Well, He's not going to answer okay. any questions. It, it, it's not necessary. Your question, okay, it's not your necessary. question is Dr. Law. Do you feel that he cannot answer for Mr. Grimes? I believe Mr. Grimes to be an adulterer, having a wife and a concubine. And I believe that with all my heart. Do you think that I was lying? Are you firing me for lying about that? Again, Mr. Alderman, I, I don't have I don't have a problem with your concerns. Okay, it was the but manner you just in which you conducted me. yourself that evening. You said that I should not have that I was disrespectful. Do you not believe that I, as a citizen, have the right to be disrespectful of a man who two times his wife? I don't know that to be. Easy. But would I'm a minister. I'm not a whole young thou person, but I'm a minister. He goes to church. He knows what I'm talking about. They don't approve of adultery in your church, do they? He doesn't have to answer any no, questions. No, he doesn't. But I, this, is re, this is what this is called a rhetorical question. If you're going to ask questions, you ask Dr. An Law. I don't expect okay. an answer. What I'm saying is, I told the truth that Emily Grimes is an adulterer. He has a woman in the Northern District. And the woman in the central district, I've got pictures of these houses in the car. Now the point I'm saying is, remember why I said that. It's because it is unlawful to commit adultery when you're on the Board of Education. Remember, I only challenged him, Mr. Bailey, you'll love this, for jurisdiction. He had no jurisdiction to sit there because he was unlawfully living in the wrong district. When I mentioned about Mr. Van Reenen, it does seem that you have missed this part. But I want to reiterate, Mr. Van Ryan knows that I came to a meeting before you were here at Hillsborough, and I said, I do not recognize you as a board member. Because he was occupying two positions, the same thing Mr. Vance was kicked off this board for. He was a member of the, the, Soul, the Green Bar Valley Soul Conservation League and Board of Education. Can't be it. And you know that, Mr. Vance, because you got kicked off for it, and Colonel got kicked off for it. He's not been legal all along. All I was doing, Mr. Bell, this is something you want to think about, is that he had no right to be on. I, I would request that Mr. Alderman answer Dr. Law questions now. Okay, now, I want to put in context. Would you mind uh, just a little context? You're crossing, you're, you're talking to, to, to well, Dr. Law. Okay, the point that I'm saying is, and this is very important for you to understand, these are the reasons that I brought it up that night. These were totally relevant. Totally because when Dr. Law would only give me 20 minutes. Will you talk to Dr. Law? Yes, I'm talking to him now. He can hear me. Do you mind if I look you in the eye, whatever I talk no, to? I don't mind. Well, I'll do it. 